Hi, my name is Sherry DeShaff and I'm a doctor of physical therapy specializing in women's health and the pelvic floor. If you've been watching my last few videos, I am today 10 days postpartum and I just wanted to shoot a quick video for you guys taking you through some of the exercises that I'm doing and introducing um, just in these first couple weeks postpartum to kind of inspire you to get rolling with your exercise and get your body back in shape. So yesterday I filmed a little more detailed version of a couple core exercises I'm starting to do that I hope you have um, started doing as well. And today I was able to go for a nice long walk. My husband watched the baby for me, so I took about a 45 minute walk. Before I gave birth, I was doing about four miles at a time, um, and I was doing that a few times a week. So when you think about how far you wanna walk right after your baby, you gotta compare it to what you were doing before. Don't start too fast, um, and kinda go based on your symptoms again, like we've discussed. So I did about three miles, and I'm almost back home, and you guys can join me for the rest of my workout. Hi, so we made it back to the house and I'm going to get to do a little bit of my resistive training now. So if you remember from yesterday, we went through a bridge, a march for your transverse abdominis and today we're going to add a squat and my plan for today is to do about three sets of 20 of each of those exercises. So for you, you know, depending on where you're starting, I would recommend starting with about two sets of 10 if you haven't really been doing any strength training up until this point um, prior to your birth. And if you have been exercising, then go ahead and start with what you're comfortable with. So for me, I was doing a lot of these exercises right up until, so I'm gonna go ahead and start with three sets of 20. So for the sake of the video, I'm just gonna do a few repetitions of each one. I would encourage you to just watch that few repetitions and refresh your memory on the form, and then go ahead and pause the video, do however many repetitions you are comfortable with, and then hit play to move on with me to the next exercise. All right, so we'll get started with a march. So again, we're gonna lay back onto our back with our knees bent about 90 degrees at the knees. And I'm gonna inhale and then exhale, draw in that belly button and lift one leg up to 90-90. I'm feeling a little bit bold, so I'm gonna go ahead and progress this exercise to a march with a leg extension. Watching that my pelvis stays nice and still. Again, I'm continuing to breathe, and I'm drawing that belly button down and in, so feeling that your belly's not bulging up and that you're not having any aggravation of any diastasis that you might have. So we're gonna move on to the bridge. We're gonna take a breath in. Exhale as we tuck the pelvis under and roll all the way up. Inhale as we roll down. And we're gonna do our pelvic floor contractions during this exercise. I'm using a log roll to get up off the floor. It's a lot easier on your abdomen. You don't want to do a jackknife to get up off the floor. So I'm going to go ahead and stand up and do some squats. You can do those with me. I'll just adjust that up a little bit. Hopefully you can see my whole body. Okay, good. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to give you the side view for a proper form for your squat. My hands are going to be up in front. I'm going to sink my hips back to go to about 90 degrees. Tighten those glutes as I come back up. Abdominals are gently on. I'm gonna breathe in on the way down and out on the way up. Again, from the front, you wanna watch that your knees don't collapse in toward the center. They need to stay out over your toes. GPS signal lost. So 
I'll let you guys go ahead and do those. GPS and signal restored. On my own. I hope you enjoyed today's workout, and I'll see you again next time.